The Brownie Max has been a great gas operated gun for years and in 2021 they came out with the new Maxxis 2. In this video we'll see what Steve Gould has to say about the Maxxis 2, what makes it a real game changer. Let's check it out. Hello everyone my name is Steve with Target Focus Life and today I'm going to be giving you an overview of the Browning Maxxis 2 shotgun. This shotgun recently hit the market and it is a hot item right now. Just grabbing a hold of this gun, I can see why. It feels great in the hands from the rubber on the grip to the forearm. This gun is going nowhere, even with wet hands. Feels awesome, ergonomics are great. It mounts super great. It's And that's partly because of the balance of the shotgun. It's a little bit more rear weighted, which I think turns out really well in this gun. It's got lighter recoil, gas operated, Right, and the gas in this Brownie Maxxis 2 allows it to be a lighter cycling gun. Gas guns are always lighter cycling. Not always, generally lighter cycling than inertia guns. Of course, then it has the reflex recoil pad that helps big time as well. Now, Browning touts this as the most reliable semi-auto shotgun on the market. There's no way that I can reasonably test that. I have put a lot of rounds through it. It's even light target loads, ounce and eighth target loads. and. I had a few cycling issues, which you might expect from a three and a half inch gun. Now, if this was a three inch gun, I don't think we'd see those same issues. Again, this is a brand new gun, so there can be a little bit of a break in period. So I'm gonna give Browning a break on that one. I know they are known for making reliable shotguns. Internal working components of this gun are very similar to a Winchester SX4, which I know very well and have hundreds of thousands of rounds through and absolutely love their gas system. So there's no doubt in my mind when it comes to waterfowling, which this gun is made for, you're gonna have no issues shooting those heavier waterfall loads. When you get to the target loads, you probably won't have much issue from the shoulder, but there could be, if you get down to one ounce loads, you definitely could be having some cycling issues. Another great thing I love about this gun is the controls, the ergonomics. You have oversized bolt release. You have oversized bolt handle. Safety is easy to get to. The trigger group, the trigger guard is oversized. Real easy to get a finger in there, a finger with a big glove in there. The trigger is what they call a lightning trigger. Now, it is just over five pounds, which I go through in my full review, which is a little bit heavier than some shotguns, but it's nice, it's crisp, it feels great. Plenty of surface area to pull that trigger. I have no issues with the trigger. Browning made this ramp on the trigger guard to help you load. And a really cool feature that Browning also has is the speed load feature. If you put a shell in, it kicks back right away. If you got the chamber open, it kicks back right away and closes the chamber. Now the ramp on the trigger guard, I don't know that I'm a huge fan of. I don't know that I would actually push the shell against it to load. I'm just gonna slap it in. But that speed loading feature is a pretty cool feature. When you look at the build quality and overall materials used in this gun, it's Cerakoted receiver, burnt bronze is the color, and burnt bronze barrel, high quality. It's gonna stand up, durable not gonna rust and then uh it's got like the dura touch i don't know if it's actually the dura touch but it's got the dura touch feel to it soft rubber in the hands just an overall great shotgun i think browning did a great job on this gun it is adjustable as far as length of pull you have some movement there it can cut you can cut off up to three quarters of an inch you see how it's flat there you can cut that off and shrink it down Otherwise, you can add spacers on this side and lengthen the length of pull. Also has shims, you can adjust the drop at comb and you can adjust the cast as well. Those are just a few quick looks at the Browning Maxxis 2. I think Browning did a great job on this one. So there you have it, that's the Browning Maxxis 2. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember the full length review is on Target Focus Life. We'll see you later. So the Maxxis 2 has really been crushing it this year. One of the reasons is because it's such a soft shooting gun. It's got a great recoil pad. And one of the main things that they talk about is that cheek pad. The fact that a lot of your uh, felt recoil comes in your face getting beat up every day is a really big deal to have a great cheek pad on that. Now, check the link in the description for more information about the Maxxis 2, but also get signed up for the Reed's 50th anniversary calendar giveaway 
every month we're giving away great products. And in May of 2022, we're giving away a Polaris Ranger uh, with tracks and a trailer. So again, check the link in the description for more information on that. You'll be able to share to get even more entries. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe.